Welcome to Unit 9. This one's talking about electrochemistry. We're going to start by defining what are called oxidation and reduction. A reaction in which an atom loses one or more of its electrons is called an oxidation reaction. So, electrochemistry deals with basically electricity and chemistry. Electricity deals with electrons. That means that electrochemistry mainly deals with the electrons that are transferred within a reaction. So, anytime actual an atom loses electrons, we call that oxidation. A substance that is oxidized, meaning a substance that loses electricity, electrons, typically gains oxygen. It's kind of really where we got the term oxidized from. So again, if we lose electrons, oxidation. You don't really need to know that it gains oxygen. If that helps, you may. It's just kind of telling you where the name came from. If it loses electrons, oxidation. Typically, whenever an element or an atom gains electrons, that's called reduction. This is sometimes kind of weird, but the reduction deals with actually the amount of oxygen, as I'm about to see tell you, or it also deals with the charge. The more electrons we have, the more negative charges we have, which means our charge basically is reduced. So when we lose electrons, oxidation. When we gain electrons, reduction. So a substance that is reduced will also commonly lose oxygen, as I said. Thus, we say its number of oxygen atoms are reduced which is why we call it reduction. Again, electrons are lost, oxidation, and reduction is gaining electrons. Keep in mind, though, that if one gains electrons, it has to come from somewhere. So reduction only can happen if oxidation happens, and oxidation can only happen if reduction happens. So if we lose electrons, that's oxidation. We're losing them to something else, which is gaining them, and thus reduction. Or if we gain them, reduction, that means that we gained them from someone else who had to lose them, which means they went under oxidation. Since both always happen together, a reaction in which reduction and oxidation occur is typically called an oxidation reduction reaction. For some reason, we also will call that a redox reaction. Now, I get re refer red referring to reduction, ox referring to oxidation. But here's the weird thing. Like, we don't normally call them reduction oxidation. Like, reduction only comes first in redox. Oxidation comes first and not the full name doesn't really make sense to me. If it makes sense to you, cool. I'm normally going to call them redox reactions. Um, it, again, just means some electrons have been transferred. You will find quite a few actual problems asking you if an electron ha electrons have been transferred. If they have, that's a redox reaction. So, a way to remember the difference between oxidation and reduction is through the word oil rig. Now, an oil rig is those things that, like, you'll see kind of going up and down, I think. I actually really don't know a whole lot about them. But it kind of pumps up oil from the ground. That doesn't really matter at all, and if you drew that in your notes, it's not going to help you much. Keep in mind, oil rig. Because oil rig actually stands for something. For example, the oil means oxidation is losing. So that helps you remember that oxidation is when we lose electrons. Rig stands for reduction is gaining. So, losing electrons, oxidation, redu reduce, uh, gaining electrons, reduction. Please keep in mind, this means whenever I lose electrons, not when I'm making something lose electrons. Whenever I personally lose electrons, I am being oxidized, which means I am undergoing oxidation. Or whenever I gain electrons, that means I'm reducing or I'm being reduced, which means I am undergoing reduction. All right. 
So, almost done. The substance that loses electrons is called the reducing agent. So anytime I lose electrons, that means something else is gaining them. More so, if something wants to gain electron, they have to have a reducing agent to help them reduce, because gaining electrons is a reduction. So a reducing agent helps someone reduce or undergo reduction. And that happens by them losing electrons. So when I lose electrons, I help you gain them. For example, let's pretend we got two guys, and he has one guy has a ball. Okay. If this guy over here wants the ball, then he has to throw the ball to him. Okay? And it's going to, you know, go onto his arm somehow. I'm not really sure how. Here's the thing, though. For the guy on the right to get the ball, the guy on the left has to lose it. So if he wants a ball, he wants to gain a ball, that means he needs to find someone who will give him a ball. That means he has to find someone who's willing to lose a ball. Because by them wi being willing to lose the ball, this person, who originally has it, means they are willing to help him gain a ball. This guy would be called the reducing agent because he's helping this guy gain a ball. Uh, electrons, not a ball. Okay? Vice versa, the substance that gains electrons is called an oxidizing agent. So that means whatever compound actually gains electrons helped something else oxidize. oxidize. It's like saying I, if they want to get rid of electrons, an oxidizing agent is someone who walks up and takes it from them. So they want to lose them. They want to oxidize. So an oxidizing agent will help them oxidize. All right. So again, reduction is gaining electrons. Oxidation is losing electrons. Oxidizing agents help something else oxidize. Reducing agents help something else reduce. We are not going to do this example now. We'll do it later. All right, welcome to the actual example we're doing. Identify these processes as oxidation or reduction. Go. Spend a few minutes. Come back. All right. Hopefully... You had answers. So, you ready? There you go. In this case, we start with lithium. Now we have lithium and some other electrons. That means lithium had to lose those, which means lithium oxidized. We started with iodide. We produced electrons, oxidation. This one required electrons to gain, make zinc. That means it gained them, reduction. This one required them, it gained them, reduction. Here's a hint. In reduction, your electrons are reactants. Notice they both start with an R. Okay? Reduction, the electrons are reactants because we're gaining electrons. Okay? Oxidation, they're products because we're losing electrons. All right? That finishes oxidation reduction. Thanks for watching.